When it comes to the forehand ground stroke, most club tennis players fall into one of two categories. Either they rotate their body correctly to present the racket to contact, or they are not rotating and they are just swinging from the arm. What category are you in? Are you someone who rotates or are you someone who doesn't rotate? Now to help me demonstrate this and the fix for this, the real fix for this, I've got the Topspin Pro here. To get one, you know what to do. Grab my affiliate link in the description below. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. This is actually a, an easy problem to diagnose. You watch most coaches, they can see someone who is not turning when they hit and they can diagnose it. But I'm gonna be very honest with you. Rarely do I actually see the, what the cause and the solution actually being addressed. The hips not turning is not a primary problem. It's secondary. It is a result of something that is happening with the non-hitting hand. A little over a decade ago, I noticed a correlation between the level of the tennis player and the height of their non-hitting hand at contact. The higher the level the player, the higher the level of the player, the higher their non-hitting hand was. The lower the level of the player, the lower their non-hitting hand was. And what you'll notice with players who do not turn their hips, if you know someone or have you seen a video of someone staying sideways and not rotating, I want you to look where their non-hitting hand is. When the non-hitting hand is either down or dropping, becomes a counterweight, the hips can't turn. Unless that is addressed, that student and that player will always make that mistake, no matter the artificial turning that they are forced to do in a lesson. What you actually want to do is have the idea of waving to the opponent as you're hitting the ball, not before you're hitting the ball, as you're hitting the ball. Let me show you what that looks like. When you take your racket back, you should take it back with both hands. Typically players who um, have their non-hitting hand down as they strike the ball, they do not turn with both hands on the racket. They tend to let go early, and I'll get to that in a second. You wanna turn with both hands, but here is the key. When the racket begins dropping, the non-hitting hand has to move across as if it's moving someone out of the way, like someone's in the way of you seeing, like let's say there's somebody standing in front of me not allowing me to see the camera, right? So I'm gonna move them out of the way so I can see you. I'm gonna do that as I am dropping my racket. When I make that move, that's what allows me to rotate. So you have to think of it this way. What is bringing the racket through to contact? The body rotating. Well, what gets the body to rotate? The non-hitting arm clearing. The only way it's gonna clear is if you turn with both hands. So if you turn with both hands, then it can clear out of the way. And when I get to contact, look where my non-hitting hand is. It looks like I'm waving to you. Now, what you don't wanna do is immediately start waving. Because if you reach forward like you're waving to hit the ball, you will end up hugging yourself. I would say, I wouldn't say it's 100 out of 100, but 99.9% .9 of players who turn like this hug themselves. You can probably think of a pro who goes like this and doesn't hug themselves, but that's the 0.1% I'm talking about. 99.9, .9, you wanna turn with both hands as the way to do this. Do not wave right away. You will end up hugging yourself, becomes a counterweight, and you end up just swinging from your arm. So the goal is to turn with both hands, feel like you're moving someone out of the way, and when you film yourself, your non-hitting hand will be right here. Now it might be like this, it might be like this. You look at um, Dominic Team. his non-hitting hand is like this when he's striking the ball, though I'm asking you to do this. There's no difference. It's just a mechanism for getting people to have their hand here. I tell them to wave at contact. And then you can just catch the racket when you're done. Now, you always hear people say, yeah, but that's not what the pros do when they play matches. Great, I don't care. <laughs> if you're watching this video, your name is not Serena Williams or Roger Federer. Serena Williams and Roger Federer have no idea who I am. And they're not combing through YouTube looking for ways to improve their forehand. The fact that you're here lets me know that you are not Roger Federer and you are not Serena Williams. I'm just gonna take a wild guess, right? <laughs> that those are not your names. So I want you catching as a way to make sure that your non-hitting hand is up and it gives your racket a place to go rather than hugging yourself or over-rotating and all that stuff. Wave to your opponent 
at the moment you're contacting the ball. Again, you're not waving the whole time you're hitting the ball. That's not what I'm asking you to do. It's, you're gonna look like this. Now, no one would think that I'm waving to the camera, but if you stop at contact, there's the wave. So if I'm looking at myself on video and I stop right here, here's my non-hitting hand waving. You look at Novak Djokovic, and I'm gonna show you him in a second. He hits and then his non-hitting hand will drop, but it was here when he contacted the ball. That's the important part. I just want people to catch to make sure that their non-hitting hand was here. Let's watch Novak Djokovic two times in a row. Let's watch the full video. This video, by the way, is courtesy of Essential Tennis. Then let's watch it a second time where I'm gonna stop for three seconds at contact and that's when his non-hitting hand looks like it's kind of waving to the opponent. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to compete against, practice with, or even find a coach who's close to you who's gonna help you work on your non-hitting hand waving to your opponent when you're done hitting, make sure you use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. And when you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off when you join. Get yourself a Topspin Pro, sign up for Play Your Court. You've got to, you've got to take your improvement seriously. You've got to practice at home, you've got to practice out on the court, but you also have to know what to practice. Are you currently struggling turning your hips as you hit the ball? The solution is the non-hitting hand. Take the racket back with both hands, and as you're uncoiling, wave to the opponent on your way to catching the racket in your finish. You use this solution to not turning your hips on your forehand, there is no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.